low income. That is a quarter of the potential workforce that could be contributing to stronger economies. Now, closing the gender pay gap will contribute 28 trillion to global GDP, which is a 26% increase. In Canada, that will have a $150 billion impact by 2026. And I would actually like to ask the leaders in this room that don't actually practice uh, gender pay and that don't have a 0% gender pay gap to really think about why that is the case and do something about it today. That said, We are a global leader on this issue. Canada is a global leader on this issue. But it seems that it's taking too long for us to really experience significant improvements. What does it take to have men and women get paid equally in Canada? <laughs> and how can we accelerate the process? We, we are seeing significant improvements, but you're absolutely right. It's one of those things where uh, uh, even, even with all the work we've done over the past few years, uh, they, pay equity gap in Canada is, is larger than some, some countries you wouldn't think would get larger gaps then. That's why we're working on closing it. Uh, we moving, we're moving forward with a proactive pay equity regime uh, that is going to transform that in a, in a very active way that, that we're very excited about, but that's something we moved forward with just last year. We also know that making sure there are opportunities for women uh, in all levels, uh, including in the C-suite, uh, is essential if you want to succeed. It's not just a moral right thing to do. We've now seen it's the smart thing to do. We know that diversity and resilience go together. We know that having uh, 40, 50, 60 percent women on your board, in your organization, leads to better outcomes and increasingly Companies are understanding that and moving forward in a very aggressive way. Uh, we put in specific uh, investments uh, for women entrepreneurs. Uh, part of the VC funding goes specifically towards uh, access to capital for women startups, for women-led startups and companies. We know that that's one of the easy ways to massively boost our output is to empower uh, too many of these women who've been just uh, left aside because of the uh, the. the, the the patterns uh, that have led for too long in so many industries, including the tech industry. We know that empowering women to succeed makes it better for everyone. That's why Canada is going to keep doing it.